what is up folks so uh, for today's video i thought i should have someone else on call because the videos we can react to are exactly the ones that need his input and that someone is none other than vimo caste is a part of hindu society caste word is a portuguese word varna jo hai varna is a trait and other caste which you say if you say the brahman chatri vaishyan shu you've heard this line of argument this talking point it's a very common one right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah. i've already reacted to this particular video but i want to hear your take also people will want both our opinions on this your mm. especially they want to say what uh, bhagwan krishna has written in gita chatur varna maya sustam gun karma vibhagsha gun aur karma ke bes on the basis of your tendency and uh, other caste they used to say hindu society is having 6000 caste i urge to name a single hindu text or religious book in the name of 6000 caste and who decided the hierarchy ki mari unche ke teli unche ke lohar unche ke sonar unche who decided you cannot show any hindu text these are the professions these are not the caste kumhar sonar badhai lohar these are the professions these are not the caste then who decided this a british census commissioner his name was herbert risley who has under 1861 the census started and in 1901 he divided the hindu society into caste 2378 caste then keep on increasing caste in 1931 the last census caste census done by british is having 4114 caste now it is at the time of mandal it was considered 5000 caste caste now it is more than 6000 कहता हूं है कहां कास्ट ये तो बता दो आई हैव सीन दिस सेवरल टाइम्स आई हैव ऑलरेडी रिएक्टेड टू दिस ऑन द मेन चैनल बट माय पॉइंट इज इफ यू थिंक दिस इज द केस देन व्हाई डू यू फॉलो द कास्ट व्हाई डू यू एनफोर्स इट व्हाई डू यू स्टिल यूज दिस हायरार्की व्हाई डू यू सी योरसेल्फ एज ऑन टॉप ऑफ द हायरार्की एंड आर द पीपल बिलो यू ऑन द हायरार्की व्हाई इज देयर अनटचेबिलिटी why are a uh, certain caste restricted to certain professions that you do want to do mm. i i'd say that that's my counterpart yeah a, a, a great filter to solve this mm. problem might simply be to go to you, the most casteist members of your family and say hey we should not do this the british has started this and see their reaction and that will solve all your problems for you but you won't do that because you know what's going to happen you know what the reality is the caste system is very old it has gone through certain changes in every period of time it also went through some changes while the british were here the british census listing out 5000 castes is just a measure of that change it is not because they created those castes and if you want to look at what keeps the caste system the caste system there is one unifying factor throughout the ages and that is brahmin supremacy they had the superiority complex back then they have the superiority complex today also and examples of casteism abound in indian society are we supposed to expect that people are hung murdered tortured humiliated every single day because the british made it so this level of apathy this le- not even apathy what, what am i saying this level of disconnectedness can only be seen in upper caste hindus who mm. have never experienced casteism in their life and who are at pains to deny its existence altogether there were only professions professions exist everywhere but yeah. nobody gets punished for wanting to do something other than their so called professed profession also he talked about the bhagavad gita gun and karm mm. what is gun gun is quality right do we wait for people to show their qualities before we assign them their caste everyone gets the caste of their parents if is that something that the british has started and before that it was not happening what what utter lunacy is this not even lunacy this is just plain dishonesty but this is a straw man uh, where he's painting a picture of caste which is not the case mm. which is not how caste is and uh, he's trying to remove all responsibility by saying hey we didn't do this it was the british quantum it comes from a word quantaha in sanskrit quanta means frog so jaise aapko the position and the velocity of an electron cannot be perceived because you become the part of the experiment quanta me frog jaise jump karta hai aur dusri jagah pahunch jata hai ab uska actual travel dikh hi nahi pata he just jumps from one place to another ek pura upanishad phase ke upar mandu kabhi lecture kir kariye uske bare mein तो ये जो क्वांटा है दी क्वांटम जंप ऑफ अ फ्रॉग इज वेयर क्वांटम फिजिक्स कम्स फ्रॉम बिकॉज यू बिकम अ पार्ट ऑफ दी ऑब्जर्वेशन मैं घुस जाता हूं ऑब्जर्वेशन में तो जो ऑब्जर्व एक्सपेरिमेंट है वो चेंज हो जाता है 
बिकॉज मैं आ गया सो देर इज नो ऑब्जेक्टिव रियालिटी एट ऑल आई आस्क सम If Quantaha means frog, he sent me a page from learnsanskrit.cc, and there were like lots of uh, you know meanings for frog, and Quantaha was not there. So I don't know. I'm not a Sanskrit expert. If someone can explain this, if someone can actually show me that Quantaha means frog or show me a reference, I'll be happy to change my mind. But this person is like he had a good idea about Sanskrit and he didn't know that Quantaha meant frog. He asked some people also; they also didn't know if Quantaha meant frog. Maybe they're all stupid, right? But I would be happy for if someone can help me out with this. Dude, it's gotten to the point where I see videos like this. I can't tell if it's a troll video yes. or if it's an actual video. Yes. My first thought was, okay, so this guy is trying to explain a complex topic to people in a simple language. and so maybe he's just using frog as a metaphor hmm. but that purpose is defeated when he says quanta comes sorry quantum comes from quanta because he's quite literally hmm. talking about the origin of the word i'll talk a bit about the science of this uh, quantum does not talk about wave particle duality hmm. just talks about how the energy of the electron is quantized so there are specific specific energy states that the electron can take that's all it it says now uh, being a part of the experiment he says you're being a part of the observation how are you being a part of the observation you're just observing the frog jumping how is that being a part all observations are like that only i think he was referring to the fact that uh, the observer effect where you look at the thing and the your the fact of your observing changes it from wave particle that duality ha, that, the copenhagen that is, interpretation is start talking about ha that is in the young's double slit experiment okay uh, when you have the quantization of energy levels you don't have to bring all this in and plus he's he's saying this about the frog jumping that observation you become a part of that observation you all observations are like that you're not a part just because you observe something right so if you had to give that this person uh, a response what would you say to them yeah i'd say this is a complete false analogy uh, false analogy and this is misinformation want to have that word from what you said probably doesn't even exist and saying that it quantum came from this it's a blatant lie if anything that's what i, I would like say. to i would like to send him a, a re, like slow motion video of a frog jumping so he can come to the conclusion that you can observe frogs jumping <laughs> It's not like it's frogs. Not that it, it's not like frogs are teleporting all over the place. That's it. That's what I wanted you here for. Uh, hope you enjoyed this session. Hope you enjoyed this video, people. See you in the next one. Bye.